And welcome back. This morning certainly was a very cold start as expected. Parts of the southeast, we were down to the teens last night, including Augusta, which is normally a very cold location in the southeast, down to 15. Macon down to 17. Atlanta down to 15. Here in Savannah, we ended up at 26, which did break our record for today by one degree. The old record of 27 degrees back a few years ago. Now the record for tonight is 24. It's pretty unlikely that we'll get down that low. Here is what I'm tracking for the overnight. Mostly upper 20s out there away from the immediate coast. Now for Tybee and Hilton Head, you're looking at slightly warmer temperatures because of the influence of the warmer ocean. Otherwise, away from the immediate coast, we're going to see uh, frosty conditions. So we may have to scrape some frost off that windshield in the morning. It will allow some extra time to do that if you're heading out early. Let's track temperatures heading through tomorrow afternoon. We're up to at least around 60 through 4 o'clock. So we're going to be warmer tomorrow as we get that warming trend started. Tomorrow night we stay above freezing. I think we'll have temperatures dropping down to the upper 30s. But 6 a.m. temperature Friday, about, about 40 degrees. And then we're right back up at least to the low 60s as we head through Friday afternoon. So more pleasant as we finish the week. Still slightly below average, but better than highs in the 40s, which we just had. Now let's check out your sky cover or lack thereof right on through your Thursday. Friday, we're tracking mostly clear skies, heading right into the beginning of your weekend. We're still going to see mostly sunny skies, so another stretch of good weather ahead along with some milder temperatures to make for some better days. Let's check out your forecast tomorrow. Another cold start, 28 degrees at 7 o'clock, but a quicker warm up up to about 62 through 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Low tide occurs late this evening at Tybee. High tide just after 6 tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, in the water, wind and seas will be light tomorrow. Now they're going to pick up on Saturday as the wind changes to the northeast. And so it could be a little bit rough on the boating there coming up to uh, start the weekend. Here's the latest pollen report. We've got weed pollen and mold both showing up as moderates. We jump ahead to your weekend forecast. And we've been talking about it being mild. We've also talked about, though, an increasing chance of rain on Sunday, and that still appears to be the case. Saturday, sun and clouds, highs in the mid to upper 60s. Showers likely on Sunday, and highs in the low 70s. Here's your entire storm tracker seven day forecast, and we can see that warming trend coming up both during the day and at night. We'll have temperatures back in the 70s to start next week, but another cold front will approach. And Kevin and Jennifer will cool back down as we approach Thanksgiving.